In the early 1980s, engineers began using computer-aided design, or CAD, to rapidly imagine new products. But when it came to the critical next step of making a physical prototype, they were stuck with old techniques. When I started thinking about you know, the possibility of 3D printing, it was with respect to quickly making prototypes. While working at Ultraviolet Products in San Gabriel, California, engineer Chuck Hull had a radical idea. Combine CAD software and photochemistry to instantly turn digital designs into 3D objects. Hull worked nights and weekends on his personal project, finessing how to build objects using a photopolymer, a liquid plastic that rapidly solidified when exposed to UV light. I could make very simple parts, but when I tried to make something a little bit bigger, I you know, usually got spaghetti, you know, it wasn't really uh, sticking together very well. Late on the evening of March 9th, 1986, Hull once again hit print. I called my wife, told her to come down to the lab, <laughs> and uh, her thought was, you know, this had better be good. <laughs> he showed her the world's first 3D printed object. You, you can see it's, it, you know, generally has a shape of a cup, but it's, if you look at the cross sections, it's, it's a bunch of circles. His patent, one of more than 50, called the invention stereolithography and Hull quickly launched the company 3D Systems and hit the road promoting his invention to automakers in Detroit. It started with a few engineers and pretty soon the whole room was full of engineers, <laughs> uh, all excited and asking questions. He'd invented not just a powerful system for rapid prototyping, he laid the foundation for the new age of additive manufacturing, now a highly competitive, growing billion dollar global industry. 3D printers now use materials from aluminum to living cells to make complex, precision parts for applications from aircraft to surgery. Today, Chuck Hull's 3D printing vision is empowering a new generation of inventors. I saw recently a, a child with an uh, uh, artificial hand that his, uh, his parents and his family were able to make with 3D printing very inexpensively, and it works great, you know. 